Hello all, in this video we will verify how Informatica will generate lookup override by default uh, when we don't specify it and uh, in case if we have to change it what things we have to perform so to do that uh, we will create a simple mapping to verify uh, lookup override So here what we'll do is uh, add source, we'll add two targets, one will be the insert instance and another will be the update instance. We'll rename the instance first instance instance will rename it as insert1 and uh, second instance will rename it as update1 uh, we will require one lookup transformation one router transformation and one update strategy lookup router update strategy will require it for updation purpose so over here we will write as dd underscore update at router we will require two groups one will be the insert another will be the update lookup uh, as of now we'll do that on the base of id column so id coming from the source and id at target will compare and uh, we'll pass only the id from lookup table ahead so id coming from lookup will validate at condition level so if that id is null then we will insert that record if that id is not null that means that id is exists then we will update that particular record connect the records or connect the records from insert directly to the target and record from update group to the target via update strategy if you see here we haven't specify any lookup override it's blank over here we have done with the mapping creation we will create corresponding workflow to run this particular mapping wf lookup override will create session task s underscore lookup override will choose Uh, what mapping name we have lookup override m underscore lookup override m underscore lookup override we have done with the session creation we will 
link these two task start task and the session task only remaining thing is you have to validate the connections we'll run this particular work for now check the lookup override at session logs so if you see here informatica has created a default uh, lookup override by himself so when we haven't specified no lookup so when we haven't specified any lookup override informatica has created default override like this so one question still remains is why informatica has picked only id column if you see at mapping level we have four columns totally id G, grp val and pad but out of this four informatica has picked only id column what we'll do is to verify the same we'll connect remaining three columns or three ports to router level again we'll save this particular session uh, mapping refresh the workflow and we'll run, run that workflow again We'll again verify the session logs. Okay, so now the lookup override got changed. So this time Informatica has created lookup override with all the four, column, four columns but at order by clause there is only id column so what we'll do is at condition level we'll add one more condition let's say grp and grp We'll save the mapping. We'll refresh the workflow. We'll run the workflow again. Now we'll verify again the lookup override created by Informatica Lab. So again the lookup override got changed. So this time order by clause also got changed. So this proves that when we change lookup condition order by clause gets changed when we change output port coming from lookup select columns gets changed now another question is what if, if we add 
look up override over here so in this look up we will add our own sql override we will refresh the workflow we will run that workflow again So if you see here again lookup override got changed and this time it's same as we have specified only apart from order by clause so order by clause informatica is generated by itself even though we haven't specified at lookup override so what if if you want to specify order by clause by ourselves so in order to do that we will specify even the order by clause at lookup look up override order by well We will refresh the workflow We will run this workflow again and we will validate the SQL override So now at lookup override we have added order by clause by ourselves Our mapping got failed, let's find out the reason behind it So it's failed because of SQL query. We'll verify the SQL query. So if you see that, so if you see over here, this was the SQL which we have specified at uh, Informatica, Informatica lookup override, and this is the extra order by clause. So no matter what we no matter what SQL query we provide at uh, lookup override informatica will always add its default order, order by clause so what what if we want to avoid or if you want to tell informatica that do not use the default order by clause so what we'll do is after the SQL override which we specify at informatica Look, uh, informatica lookup level we will add to double dash that will be a comment at sql level so what this will do is this will comment out default order by clause added by informatica and it will consider only this particular sql so let's try that one what we will do is we will add two double dash we will save the mapping we will refresh the workflow we will save the workflow and run it again and we will verify the session logs this time so this time session got completed successfully So as expected, this was our SQL which we have specified at lookup lookup level. And because of this double dash which we have added extra, the default order by clause 
added by informatica got commented out so when you have to change the order order by clause or when you have to add order by clause by yourself don't forget to add to double dash so that default order by clause added by informatica will get commented so this is how sql override will get changed when we change anything at uh, condition level or anything at do uh, anything uh, any port at lookup level and this is how we have to change uh, lookup override or uh, this is how we will add our own lookup override uh, the only question remain remains is why we really have to add lookup override at informatica level so the two advantages are uh we can add where clause so where clause will uh, restrict only only particular set of data so using the where clause we can add we can filter out or we can restrict the set of records so if you have um, so let's say 10 crores of records and out of which you will you, you will uh, you require only say lakhs of records so only those particular record you can select so this will definitely increase the performance and second second thing is uh, you can change the order by clause you can uh, avoid the default order by clause uh, added by informatica because uh, this might be uh, sometimes uh, leads to uh, performance issue so instead of adding this or instead of using all these four order by clause we will add only one particular order clause which will in improve the performance thanks for watching this video